Hello everyone, welcome to Internet Philosopher with another mind blowing video. So, so I've been trying to write a brief article about uh, the Indian philosophy, and it's so hard to write uh, briefly about the fast concept of our uh, Indian philosophy in just you know one's article. I have done a little bit of research with the help of my friends, uh, and please correct me if I'm wrong. And thank you, Mrin Bora, for your ultimate help. So let's start this. So, what is philosophy? The philosophy, the general concept of philosophy, is love for wisdom or love for knowledge. So, in India terminology, philosophy is known as darsana. Darsana means to realize or to see. Darsana aims at some vision of truth or reality. Indian philosophy is life oriented. It's an every concept is life related. How to shape our living in a proper way is clearly explained in our philosophy. Thus, it has a practical aspect. In Indian context, value is not regarded only to the subject matter of philosophy, but philosophy itself is regarded as value. On the other hand, in Western, there are many theories about the origin of philosophy. It starts from intellectual curiosity and is understood as a sense of wonder or a worldview or a theory of reality. But in India, philosophy is understood as a direct experience of reality which is open to all and it has not arisen from wonder or due to intellectual curiosity. You know, Vedas may be said to be the source of Indian philosophy, but, uh, but we get systematic knowledge of philosophy from Up Upanishad. There are 108 Upanishad, but only 10 Upanishad has philosophical aspect. With reference to the belief or non-believer of Veda, school of Indian philosophy is divided into two groups, that is one theistic or you can say orthodox, number two atheistic or you can say heterodox. Authority of Veda believers are called theistic, oblique astika, oblique orthodox. On the other hand, we don't believe in the who don't believe in the authority of Vedas called atheistic, oblique nastika, oblique heterodox. There are six systems of Indian philosophy who is a believer of Veda. The six systems are Navya, Vaishikha, Samakya, Yoga, Mimamsa and Vedanta. The other aesthetic or heterodox systems are Sarvaka, Zenism and Buddhism. Basically in Indian philosophy is spiritualist nature except Sarvaka. Most of people uh, criticize Indian philosophy as pessimistic, but the ultimate goal of Indian philosophy is to free from suffering. So because of that, you have to first see life the way it is, so that you can realize it and can free from its suffering. It is start from pessim pessimism and in optimism. So what is the ultimate aim of Indian philosophy? The ultimate aim of Indian philosophy is liberation or salvation or moksha. Indian philosophy originated in Vedic time, so it may seem unrealistic and unscientific, but that is not true. It still has modern and scientific temperament. We cannot ignore that. I hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day y'all and please leave a comment, like, subscribe and let me know your thoughts. Thank you. Have a great day y'all. Bye-bye.